Hi everyone, I am Victor and welcome to 5-Minute Lessons. This is another special episode of our program called Presented by Student for Students. This program hopes to motivate students to learn, allow them to share what they have learned, and make them inspire other students to do the same. In our previous episode, we had an overview of Gmail. Go to this link to watch that episode. For today's episode, we have a returning guest. Her name is Nale. What made us invite her again is her ability to produce quality output on time. I asked her to demo two tools. Yes, you heard me right. That's two Google tools. Today, she is going to do basic tasks in Google Keep and she is also going to demonstrate commonly used features of Google Tasks. Nale, please start. Hi, good day. So what is Google Keep? Google Keep lets you quickly take and save notes, photos, voice memos, and checklists to Google Drive, and then access them again on any other web-connected devices that you use. So I will show you how it works using my laptop. Just open your Google Chrome and open your Gmail. Click the account that you want to use with Google Keep. On the right side of the screen, you can see here three buttons and then just click Google Keep. So there are a lot of things that you can do in Google Keep. So if you want a bigger view of Google Keep, just click this button here on the upper right side to open it on a new tab. This is what it looks like on a bigger screen. You can add a note and add a title and description too. There are also multiple buttons that you can use here. You can click this button for Google to remind you about this note. You can also pick a date and time and also a place. You can also add collaborators for this note by just simply putting their email here to share it with them. You can also change the colors and add photos. You can also archive this if you want to and these three buttons here will show you other options. You can delete this note, add label, add drawing, make a copy, show checkboxes, and it lets you copy to Google Docs. When you're done, just click this close button here and it will automatically be saved here. You can also add other notes with a drawing. You can click these options here for you to use and add a title and description. Just click close when you're done and it will automatically be saved again. For photos, you can click this button here and click open. It will be uploaded to Google Keep and you can change the title and description or colors and other options here. Click close when you're done and add due dates. You can see different options here above. You can refresh the page. You can put it on a list view like this or a grid view like this. There are also other settings here and on the, on the left side of the screen, you can see the reminders here and it will be automatically arranged on the due dates. This is due today at 8 a.m., tomorrow at 8 a.m., and this on July 27. You can also edit the labels here if you want to. Archives and trash bin. When you're done with this note, you can just click these three buttons here and click delete note. It will automatically be placed on the trash bin. You can empty the trash by clicking this button here or the notes in the trash will be automatically deleted after 7 days. So that's it. That's how you use Google Keep. So first, what is Google Task? Google Task lets you create a to-do list within your desktop Gmail or the Google Task app. When you add a task, you can integrate it into your Gmail calendar and add details or subtasks. In my case, I will be using my laptop to show you how it works. So first, go to your Google Chrome. Then, open your Gmail. Then, choose the account that you want to use with Google Tasks. Then, on the right side of the screen, you can see here three buttons, which is the Google Calendar, Google Keep, and the Google Tasks. Just click it and click Get Started. As you can see, there are no tasks available. 
So to add a task, just click this button here and name your task. You can also click this pen button here to add a due date. You can also add details to your task or a short description. You can also add a subtask if you want to but it is totally optional. When you're done, you can just click this button here and it will automatically be saved as your task. You can add as many tasks as you want or need. When you're done adding your tasks, you can sort it by clicking these three dots here and sort it by the date. So as you can see, the due dates will be shown above. So this task is due on July 21, while the other task has no due date. You can add their date by clicking this pen button here. You can also set the time. And that's it. When you're done with the task, you can just click this check button here to mark it as complete. To delete a task, you can just click this button here and click this trash button here above to delete a task. When you misclicked it, you can just click undo for it to be showed above here again. So if you want to add more tasks, you can do so. And it will automatically be sorted based on their due dates. You can view your completed task on the lower right corner and delete it at the same time. You can also create a new list by clicking this button here and adding the title of your list. And just repeat the process to add tasks. Thank you very much, Nale. You have proven today that you are really a reliable person. You were able to share the basics of keep and tasks. For sure, those students who have not used those tools are now convinced that they are helpful. Before we end this tutorial, I would also like to share two tips on using Google Tasks. Here's tip number one. Let's say we would like an email to be a reference in a task in Google Tasks. Here's what we can do. Select the email by putting a tick mark. On the tools that appear above the message, select Add to Tasks. Notice that on the right side, a task has been created with the attached email. Click the pen symbol to edit. Let's say we would like to follow up the response from this email on August 1. And the time is at 8 a.m. Click OK. Once done, simply click the back symbol. Now, you have added a task in your Google Tasks. That's simple, right? It just proves that we can create Google Tasks from Gmail. Here's tip number two. We can also create tasks when we are creating appointments in Google Calendar. Here's how we can do that. Let's say we would like to create a task on July 30 at 1 p.m. with the students who are working on our video tutorial. Select Task and write the title. Add a description if needed, then click Save. On the right side of the screen, click the task symbol. Notice that it is already included in our tasks. Here, we have proven that Google Tasks is integrated with Google Calendar. I hope those tips will help you on using Google Tasks. I would like to thank Nale again for joining me today. I hope to see you again as our guest in our next episode. For questions or any feedback, kindly write on the comment section below. Please like and share this video so others will know how useful Google Tasks and Google Keep are. Again, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. Thank you.